Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. It's episode 5 of AFC Gregs, and if you haven't seen the other episodes, as always, check the link up in the description to episode 1, and then you can watch through until all of the ones you've missed, or you can just click on the playlist on my profile, which I'll probably link down in the description as well. But it's going pretty well so far. We're doing alright. Let's take a look. So, first things first, um, I'm going to talk about what I have requested from the board and what the board have done while you have been away. So, firstly, I requested a senior affiliate, they rejected it, then I tried to convince them, they accepted it, and now they have returned with either Salford City or Port Vale. I think I'm going to go with Salford um, because they are more likely, and they have Wes Brown. Is that is that Wes Brown's son? Is it actually? Wes Brown the Defender... No, not related to Wes Brown, the defender. But we're going to go with them, although uh, Port Vale don't have anyone to loan anyway. So perhaps those will be some good signings that we can get in. So I'm going to recommend um, Salford as our senior affiliate. Another thing is they've also offered me a new contract. So I am now signed until 2023. That's a two-year extension on the top of the one year that we had. So that's pretty good. And the reason for that is because we're doing okay. So here's the competition. As you can see, we are up in second. We have won 11 games now, drawn eight. We've still drawn a lot of games and lost three. So let's take a look at the schedule since you last came in. So last time was a 4-4 draw with South Shields, followed by a defeat to FC United of Manchester. And since then, we have played eight games and we have come through January. January was quite quiet from a transfer perspective. We bought in a couple of names but nothing really major I would say. However it was a pretty good month for us in the league. We drew 0-0 with Staleybridge the next game followed by a 4-1 win against Grantham. Malas got two, Ayinsan got one and Powell our uh, central attacking midfielder got one. Then we went into a 1-1 draw with Gainsborough Again, Malas got the goal. 0 with Ashton United was a little bit disappointing, but I could see that things were starting to click with our strikers, Ayinsan and Malas, and then evidence of that was against Lancaster, where Malas got a hat-trick, um, and Ayinsan, I think, assisted two of them. Williamson came off the bench, and he got a goal as well. He's our uh, youth uh, striker who's pretty good. Um, Mikulova, both Yinsen and Malas got a goal, and, and Powell did as well. 2-1 win over Basford, where Powell and Malas scored. And then recently, back to the start of the series, our first ever game was against Atherton Collieries. And again, it is against Atherton Collieries here, where Reese Powell got the goal. So as you can see, that front three are really starting to perform for us right now. I'll go on to our tactics and show you. So this was a dotted line. They were having a little bit of trouble between Reese Powell and Yinsen. But the more they have played, the more they know each other... And the more this partnership is beginning to show some pretty good stats so far for us this season. If I have a look at the season stats. So if we take a look at the season stats here and order order it by appearances and goals and things like that. So Molas is now on 20 goals. Ayinsan is on 14. Ayinsan has got 7 assists as well, which is really good for him. Molas is yet to get an assist, but that's not what he's there for. Uh, Powell has got five goals and three assists now. The opposite way round for Sumner, who's our right midfielder. Patience has six assists. He's our second best assister. Um, and then five from Sumner. Uh, longer Longer had four assists, but Longer Longer has been ousted by the fans somewhat a little bit. So we brought in Farrar last episode, and uh, he has been doing fairly well at right back. I initially brought him in to play right mid, but he's not really that kind of player. So yeah, I initially brought him in for that, uh, and now we have a couple of players that have come in more recently. If we get rid of the uh, thing here, the filter on the messages here, we can see that we have signed Nilligan, um, who is a right midfielder, and he is a bit more what we're looking for in terms of uh, pace, acceleration, 
He's, he's useful. He's uh, five foot four. He's good off the ball, good teamwork, good work rate, good flair. Passing could improve. Passing is something that I'd like him to improve. Um, crossing's okay. Overall, he is a good player, and he was recently at Morecambe. Uh, he was recommended to me quite highly. Um, was there anyone else? There was a couple of people that we've signed. Let's let's just go on to transfers. It's probably easier to bring you in through that. Yes, Ben Ingham is the other player that we've signed, who is a left back, who's going to play understudy for Charlton, who may be recalled. They are not happy with him not playing centre back. The five for three lad that I talked to you about last episode. If we uh, put in here and it's Charlton, he should be highlighted in blue. There he is. So he is. Apparently a centre back, and this team, his main team, which is Blythe, want him to be a centre back. But he's such a good left back. Like, why would you play someone who's five foot three and not particularly good at strength, or not particularly good at heading or jumping reach at centre back when you can play him at left back, and then you can get things like work rate, teamwork, positioning, tackling, marking, passing, crossing, all of these things involved. And he's actually a pretty, pretty decent for us so far. And I'm going gonna, gonna to keep playing him at left back. I'm going to try and fully sign him from Blythe if we get promoted. So it was him and it was also Liam Davies. Liam Davies was the uh, older right mid that we brought in last episode, who I think I'm immediately going to get rid of. We've had a couple of people go out on loan. We've sent out uh, Curtis Round on loan, who was a left mid backup, who was never really going to be good enough. And Jake Buckle as well from the same position neither really we're gonna get in the team i'd probably like someone else to come in really before the end of the window to replace our left mid replacement really um we do have sam hurst who's our 16 year old he might be 17 now no 16 year old um chap who can play left mid at the moment he is our up and coming player he's been making flating appearances he's made uh 20 so far this season on and off the bench he's done pretty well he's doing all right um, so that is where we are at. So I've got a new contract and a load of other players have got new contracts as well because suddenly I was allowed to sign players for more than one year. It wasn't happening at first, um, so I wasn't allowed to. But as you can see here, Molasses signed till 2023. Um, a Yinsan has signed until 2023 with no wage increase. Bang, beautiful, love that. Alfie Coburn needs to sign. He hasn't signed yet. In fact, I'm going to try it right now because he is... He's been rejecting a few contracts from me, so let's see if he... There we go. That's much better. That's the first time he's let me get to this stage without just immediately greying everything out. So that's where we are. Let's go straight into our games for this week. So this is the team that we're going to go with. We're going to stick with pretty much what I have done for the last couple of games. Malassan and Yinsen up front with Powell behind them. Patience left. Sumner right. Healy in the CDM role, although uh, Holmes, who is also one of the players that uh, comes into this position, has been pr playing pretty well. Jack Holmes, not uh, Elliot Holmes. I, I appreciate you can't see him behind my head. This guy, he's been improving very quickly in this position and has started to pick up stats and we're training him in that position as well. So he's started to pick up his stats in these positions. And I think if he had a little bit more stamina and strength, I would play him more regularly there. But Healy is there as our main guy so far. And you can see why from his stats there, they're much better than a lot of the other players in our team. Uh, Griffin is going to start at left back. Although Charlton is back from his short term injury. You know, what? I'm going to bring Charlton in and play Charlton on the left. Uh, Griffin will be on the bench because he can play both left and right back, which is awfully helpful. Sorry, Donnelly Longer Longer, as much as I love you. Although Powell is a little bit worse for wear. So actually, I'm going to bring in Coburn and Powell is going to come out and Donny Longer Longer will be on the bench um, simply because of that. Uh, Hurst left mid uh, and then Williamson on the bench. We've got Malukwu and Ward. Ward, who I said I'd move into a cover position. I've moved him there. He's done much better. So perhaps a good decision from me perhaps just you know really really obvious to anyone who plays football manager but i'm proud of myself for figuring that out um so that's the team we're going to go with okay into the first game then and it is nantwich versus greggs at nantwich's ground last time it was our first ever game at the bakery and we did get the win so we will see what we can do with this game and we're into the first couple of minutes. We have a habit of conceding early, which isn't great, especially when a Nantwich highlight after one minute is a good ball in. We're going to concede early again. Oh, well. Well then. Well then, guys. Not great. Not great. Uh, a very poor piece of defending as well. Just nobody bothered marking him. 
considering you're supposed to be on a cover roll and you're supposed to be in this position, that's not great from you, Ward, to be totally honest. Farrar couldn't get across because obviously he's a right back and shouldn't be the one getting across. But um, yeah, poor from us. So we're going to have to demand more here. These are a promotion competitor team now. Fourth place versus second. We need to do better. And it doesn't look like we're going to. Why, why when I bring you guys in, penalty. Why, when I bring you guys in, do I not do as well as when you're, when you're not here? It, typical. I should have brought you in for that 5-0. Laurie with the penalty then. Steps up and he slots it home. 2-0 after 13 minutes. It's not great. We're going to have to probably change something, especially if we don't improve as a team here. It's not great. What I will say, though, is the games have been coming thick and fast, so um, this could be a little bit to do with fatigue, although my team looked okay beforehand, and they look okay now, reasonably. Divine on the left-hand side. Can he get a ball in? He can. It's towards Mackin, but uh, Emery clutches the ball. That shouldn't be the end of the highlight. We do now kick the ball over the top. And he does do in search of a yin san, but Harrison wins the header really well. Uh, and well done, Coburn. Plays in a yin san. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. Can he shoot? He does. Mahan makes a good save. Muk Mahan, sorry. A, y a yin san is still there, but he's stumbled. And that's going to be the end of the highlight. And that's not great from us there. We should be scoring that kind of opportunity. Emery again over the top. In fact, he's for some reason booted it to the wing, even though he's supposed to be booting it over the top. But sure. Divine takes on his man. He caused us trouble last time. Good ball in. Headed away by Milokwu. Only as far as Laurie. Cook. I thought he was going to shoot from range then. Saunders. Corral. Saunders again. Shoot straight Emery. Easy save there. Not going to be a good chance for them. Maybe the end. not the end of the highlight. Maybe. Big ball over the top in search of a Yin San. This time it finds him. A Yin San one and one. We do that a lot. We do that a lot. Put it ball over from 20 yards or so with the goalie bearing down on us. We need to do a little bit better there. Chant with the throw. Healy on the edge of the box. Tries to cut it out. Molas. Coburn shoots straight at the goalkeeper. And again, McMahon makes a good save. Easy save, really. Um, ball up towards Saunders. Highlight's not over yet. Cook finds the ball to the left-hand side with Divine. Divine into Hughes. Nantwich able to build on us pretty easily so far in this game. Langley finds Divine on the left-hand side. We're not stretched enough. We're not marking enough. And it's not great. Big tap. Are you joking? Are you joking that that's a penalty? Didn't look like a foul. Absolutely it didn't. Wow. We're going to be 3-0 down here. Two very dodgy penalties. Laurie steps up. Easy penalty. And now we have to do something pretty drastic here. To get something out of the game, which is not what I was thinking against Nantwich. 3-0 down already. This is nothing like we've been playing with all season. They've obviously got a high XG, but it's only because of the penalties, really. I mean, they have had more shots. They are attacking more than we are. So I'm going to... I think I'm going to throw the water bottle at this performance. It's not been great. Throw the water bottle. Far from pleased with what I've just seen. Right, tactically, we need to t change something here. Connor Griffin's going to come on for Farah because he's having a terrible game um, and I think Laird is going to come on for Isaac Ward as well who is also having a terrible game great to see you know you love it in fact I'm going to replace most of the back line Charlton is also coming on off and Donny Longa Longa is coming on because I don't think it's the strikers although they've missed a couple of chances I don't think it's the strikers that are giving us problems in this game it's the fact that our defense have not been here hence there's 6.4 6.2 6.1 that's not great at all and we are going to throw everything at this now um okay so we've gone more direct we've gone higher tempo and um, we're going to boot the ball over the top with long kicks and also we have pushed up our attacking line into much higher rather than just higher. We're playing higher, higher before. That was working for us well. Perhaps this will help us a little bit more. Throwing everything at this game because we've got to get something out of it. We've got to at least try and get some kind of goal or consolation. Let's see what we can do in this second half. It's Nan Twitch highlight again. We've not seeming to change anything here. Corral into Emery. Although a quick kick from Emery over the top here could release... One of the strikers, maybe. It doesn't. It's a poor kick. We need him to hit the halfway line at least. Ball up in towards Mackin. Griffin clears. Only as far as Divine. Divine has been causing us a lot of problems. I might have to go and... I should have probably marked him earlier in this game, but I haven't. Uh, Cook boots the ball long. Mackin is in. We're 4-0 down. 
Ah dear, it's not gone well. This is not what I wanted you to bring you. I wanted to bring you the, the form that we were on, which was amazing. We literally, it was such good form. I can't believe this is what I'm bringing you, for goodness sake. Um, I'm going to fire our team up a little bit because we're looking very bad. That has worked, apparently. Apparently when you're losing, just fire people up. Patience with the corny then. Can we get consolation? A Yinsan. How have we not scored a Yinsan there? Really poor. Griffin to keep the highlight alive, but in experience, I would say that it's probably over. Molas, wide. It wasn't over. That was just rubbish. I assume that was offside. Oh, my God. And we have just been obliterated by Nantwich um, away from home. I'm far from pleased. Wow. Wow. That's our, our poorest result of the season. It's now taking our goal difference right down. Uh, we were the best in the division. Uh, what did United do? FC United drew, so that was a little bit of a chance to get back into it there. And Nantwich actually have a game in hand as they overtake us there. Right, next game is against Warrington, and now we're back at the bakery. Hopefully we can improve on that last performance, because quite frankly it was embarrassing. And I don't want to see our team doing that again. Um, we're going with Molas and Yinsen up front, but Coburn's been replaced for Powell, who is now fit again. Patience on the left, Sumner on the right, Healy at central defensive midfield. Griffin comes back into the left back instead of Charlton, and Donny Longa Longa comes back in to the right-sided position. And I think that's going to be the team for this game. I'm sticking with the tactic because there's no point changing it. We've been doing really well with it. I like this tactic. Um, so yeah, let's get into this one. So there's your bakery team sheet. And we're going to tell them to expect a much better performance after last time, because I think that's probably sensible. The teams are out at the bakery. Warrington versus Greggs. Can Greggs improve from their last game? Early highlight again. Emery goes long over the halfway line in search of Molas. It's headed down to Sumner. Ian Sun is there. Beautiful ball through to Molas. Molas is there again. It's somehow ended up in the back of the net. What on earth was that goal? We've scored. Thank God. <laughs> Albinson in goal has made an absolute muck of that like big ball over the top from Emery it's knocked down nicely by Edwards from them a Yinsen goes through lovely ball in good first touch from Alas takes it round the goalkeeper and then decides to play it straight at him and the goalkeeper fumbles it into his own net we'll take it we'll take it we will take it next highlight is all the way 30 minutes on 30 minutes Malukwu dinks the ball over the top to Yinsen who controls it wonderfully and shoots Oh, just wide. Good effort from Ian Sun there. He took that really nicely. Couldn't get the ball on target. It's unlucky. 36 minutes been played now. And another highlight with Emery with the ball at his feet. All the way to Molas. No defenders marking him whatsoever. He has the ball on the left wing. Into the penalty area. Shoots just wide. Is it a save? No. Side netting. Goal kick. That's going to be a free kick on the edge of our penalty area here. Rose steps over it. I don't like where Emery's positioning is. I could tell that was going in. Emery's positioning was far too far to the left of his goal or to the right from his perspective. It's not great. 50 league goals for Rose of Warrington. Not this season of his career. Ah, it's not good from either goalkeeper so far in this game, is it? And it's 1-1. Free kick to us now, just before half time. Griffin is with it. He's going to dink the ball into the box. It's straight into the hands of Albinson. And this could be a counter-attack. It's a poor kick, though. Back in from Griffin. Onto Molas. Molas controls. Get in there. Well played, Molas. Well played, Griffin. On the volley. What, what a pass. This is a ridiculous pass. Um, Really poor clearance from Albinson in goal. It's gone all the way to the halfway line. And then, bang! First time, straight back over to Molas. The Yinsan was offside, but Molas wasn't. And that's a goal. And we're going to go into half-time in the lead. We love to see it. Or is it going to be another highlight? Griffin. Dinks the ball in towards the back post. Look, woo, over the bar. Half time then. 2-1. And I'm pretty happy with that because if you look at the other highlights, it was all us. And then they had one highlight of that free kick. I'm not going to change anything just yet unless anyone is particularly um, struggling. I may change patience. You know what? Let's change patience for Sam Hurst. And that is going to be the only change that we make at half time. Sticking on quite deep into the second half without a highlight yet. We're in 70 minutes without seeing anything happen whatsoever. And Warrington haven't even had a shot in this half. They have now that I've said that. In fact, they've had two. Um, Griffin with a free kick. Whips the ball in towards goal. And Albinson's made a mess of that as well. That was an easy catch. But he's tipped it wide and it's going to be a corner. Can we get something from this corner? Powell steps up to take it. He's going to whip the ball in towards the near post. And he does do. 
Nulukwu off the crossbar and out. It's unlucky, but that's looking pretty good for us to win this game. Nantwich have just gone back into the lead as well, which means they're going to stay above us. 89 minutes then, 90, 91, 92, and full time, and we take a 2-1 victory there. We were well the better team, 20 shots to their eight. Uh, 20 shots to their 6 with 8 on target to their 3. An XG of 2.19 to their 0.17. We were a much better team there. Malas showing his goal scoring credibility after really letting me down in the last game as did Ayinsan. So where does that leave us at the end of this episode then? It leaves us in 3rd place. We started it in 2nd. We had a really good run. But uh, we've gone back up to 3rd place. Nantwich are just above us but they do have a game in hand. They look like the real team to beat now going into these last games Bamber Bridge and South Shields we've both turned them over quite easily earlier on in the season so I think we're going to be okay with those two so it's really a two horse race to come up for second and second isn't an automatic promotion place we have to do something really major to take on FC United right now and I don't think bringing in a couple more players is going to do anything for that I think what we need to do is find some consistency We'll see what we're going to do. There's probably only maybe two more episodes of this season to give you kind of a, a showing of where we are. I'll probably go to maybe the end of March now um, and then you can kind of see where we are and then I'll bring you back in with the all-important end games of the season to see whether we can get that automatic promotion place, to see whether we can stay in the playoffs and then the all-important playoffs as well, which will be an episode. So a couple more episodes this season and then we'll move into the next one. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Uh, a subscription would be great if you're enjoying the series. If you didn't like it, please leave a dislike. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Um, I really appreciate the feedback. If there is something wrong with the video, like the quality is not good enough because I, I theoretically should have everything set up to have really good quality. So if the quality is not good enough, if the sound's not good enough, if I'm rambling too much in highlights, whatever, just tell me what's wrong. I'll try and fix it for the next episode. Um, I also have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash the underscore steak underscore bake. Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays I stream at the moment. Considering streaming more, 7pm uh, BST is what time I usually go live. We'll see how that goes across the rest of the week. Also, a new video coming out on the channel that's not Greg's related. Um, I will be doing a Premier League predictions video coming up. And then a like how well did your team do in the transfer window kind of thing. Um, coming up on the channel soon so some football content which should be really entertaining should be good so i hope you enjoy that and uh, i'll see you in the next one thank you very much for watching and see you later and be kind to one another